Okay, so we're working on his place command and uh, nose target. And what else are we doing? Oh, and his leave it. So you can watch those ones. Okay, and I'm also just using his kibble. So I'm just using his meals to train him right now. Not using other treats unless we're outside. I want him, I want his recall outside to be really valuable. So I'm use, only using like um, liver treats or dehydrated beef outside. gonna walk away from him until he decides to participate again. So sometimes puppies this age get a little um, distracted and they have a hard time focusing during training sessions so it's it's okay to take a play break in the middle of it. I'm just saying the word drop while I put food right in front of his nose, just to help teach him to release the food, release the toy. Good boy. So nose target I use as an emergency recall and to move the puppy around if you don't have treats on you. I find it really useful at the vet for getting him on, um, getting them on the weigh scale and stuff like that. Yes. So all he has to do, he's just running and bumping his nose to my the palm of my hand. Yes. So because he's a puppy, I'm getting a little bit of open mouth there. Yes. Which is fine for now. See how that's kind of a fun, it's a really effective recall. So I just drop my hand and he comes running over. Yes, 
his leave it. He's doing pretty well. And what I mean by when I say leave it is there's something he's looking at or he's thinking about going to. He's at that squeak barking, so I'm just ignoring him. Remember I said that if you hear that, you just want to ignore it. So by leave it, I want him to um, turn and look at me. Um, so that would be like, say you're in the pet store and he's sniffing treats. You know, they keep them all down at dog level. <laughs> so if he's doing that, you say leave it and he turns and looks at you and then you can distract him and move along. You have his attention back. Um, you can use it outside, like if you see garbage on the road or something like that, and you're like, oh, he's probably gonna pick that up. Then you can say leave it, he turns and looks at you. So how we're working on that is I have food in my hand and I do this on the floor as well. So I'll say leave it. And he moves away. Yes, we have working on the place command, so he's a little, um, he's drawn to that bed right now. He's gonna oh, move it over here. Oh, so that you're part of the video. Okay. Leave it. Yes, good boy. Good boy. So he thinks about going, and then he sits back and looks at me. That's what I want. Um, and how I practice that is when he goes for it, when we're just beginning it, I shut my hand and then when he backs off, I open it. And then he goes for it, I shut it. And then when he backs off, I open it. That's how we initially trained it and he's doing really well with it. So he doesn't need me to do that as much anymore. So I can just do an open hand of food. Leave it. Yeah, that's a good boy. Well done. Good puppy. Good puppy. I'm just going to get a few more goodies here. I'm just giving him some of my dog's kibble just to keep him interested <laughs> right now <laughs> if he's getting sick of this. Leave it. Yes, good boy. Good job. So when I'm doing it on the floor, I never release them to go get it. I know that that sometimes is um, shown as a behavior, but in real life, if you actually need him to leave it, so like let's say something dangerous, like chocolate falls on the floor, or there's something on your walk that you don't want it to take. There's never a point when I say leave it to my dogs in real life where I actually want them to go get it after. <laughs> I mean, very rarely. So, so I like to have this leave it as a leave it forever and I will give you something else, like away from, from the situation. So I never like say, okay, you can go get this on the floor. I'll pick it up and then I'll hand it to him in a different hand or I'll have different treats and I'll give it to him from there. Leave it. Yes, good boy. Good dog. Leave it. Yes, good boy. So that one was harder. I put it much closer to him. It was right near his paw. Leave it. Yes, good boy. That one was right on his paw. Good boy. Good job. So that's it. We're going to give him a little break. Got the toy in my pants. Hey. Hey. We'll give him a little break and we'll come back to it in a little while.